everyone and welcome to today's live let me know in the comments if you can hear me uh, give me a one i'm keeping on the comments the amount of times we have gone live and you've not been able to hear me so i want to make sure you can definitely hear me let me know with a one let's see who we've got uh loads of people who we got we've got uh, Anne marie johnny prakash um carolyn lynn how are you lynn tom mark i hope you're well mark awesome you can hear me loud and clear before we start guys a reminder share this video down the bottom right which i think is that way Celie, i hope you're well mate um and keep them well um down the bottom right your side should be a share button click share and share it into groups share it onto pages which you own or where you're allowed share it onto your uh, profile as well whoever shares this live the most gets fifty dollars we've got three lots of fifty dollars to give away and we will give that away tomorrow after this event has ended this is the last live guys the last time you can catch this um i've obviously got aiden in waiting and for you that don't know what we're going to talk about we're going to talk about one thing in particular um a little bit later on he'll mention this as well um but we basically teach you to, to do something and I'm going to share um, on a live what I'm going to spend $10,000 on, okay, with you guys that join us today. And Aiden actually said the thing I was going to get you to buy has already increased in $2,000 overnight, okay? So think about that as we go through this. This is how fast it can change, guys. If Aiden would have told me to buy it yesterday, I'd have made $2,000, in fact, probably more because I'd have put multiple overnight without doing anything. This is one of the strategies we're going to show you today, okay? And if you wait right until the end, uh, you're going to see exactly how you can watch me spend $10,000. How awesome does that sound? Uh, first live after finishing the boot camp. Well done, Joshua, and welcome to this. So on this live, guys, we're going to be sharing with you. These are the exact strategies uh, I use to double my money with crypto in a few days it was about i think it was over a week 10 days aiden will tell you in a second using four legitimate methods okay none of this ponzi rubbish that's out there none of this um give me a bitcoin and i'll give you two back none of this 25 percent profit per week the way to think of those guys is if big banks can't do it with multi trillions of pounds or dollars uh, with some of the cleverest people in the world working for them what makes you think a little guy who's just hit you on the inbox can do it they can't it's that simple okay so stay away from those type of things they are scams even if you pay out you're going to get someone inside it um that may not get paid out and lose a lot of money okay so always be wary of those type of things now Again, how many people actually watched our previous lives? Give me a one if you've watched the, this live before. Give me a two if this is your first time, okay? Just so we know who's joined us for the first time. So one if you watched it before. This is the last time we've done it. And a two um, if this is your first time. Let's see how many ones and twos we get. Greg, hope you're well. Lynn, uh, Joshua, I've said hello to you. Jerry, hope you're well, Jerry. So Mark with a one, let me know this relies, this live guys relies on you asking questions, giving us feedback so that I, I can butt in when Aiden's showing you exactly what did I can butt in and ask him questions so you guys understand, okay? Um, so, wow, mostly twos by the looks of it, which is awesome. So you guys that have watched this for the first time, you're in for an absolute treat. Now it's about half and half. You're in for an absolute treat. Make sure you got a pen and a piece of paper to take down notes. These are four strategies. In fact, Aizen's going to share three. I'm going to share one simple one, which most people know. Instead of um, getting into these Ponzi's and all this crap out there, all I simply done, guys, a few years ago was hold some Bitcoin, store it in one of my wallets, and held on to it. I've got um, a number of Bitcoin, Bitcoin, and I've got about 50... 50 um, to 60 Ethereum. And the Ethereum this morning is just under $2,000 each. So by holding it over a long period of time, um, I've now got approximately a quarter million dollars worth of cryptocurrency. Probably over that fluctuates all the time. Just through buying it and keeping hold of it. Okay. This is a key thing that you'll learn today as well. Um, 
Who knows what cryptocurrencies are? Does everyone know what cryptocurrencies are before I bring Aiden on? The important thing is to cast aside if you've been burnt by cryptocurrencies, if you've lost some to scammers, you need to cast that all aside and learn from this live. You've come here to learn, okay? And Aiden's going to let um, a lot of strategies out today, especially some really big ones to do with a new technology that you would all have heard of, including me. I heard of this. I didn't know what it was. You're going to learn what that is live uh, today with Aiden. Now, how many people want to absolutely crush crypto? How many, how many people want to absolutely crush it? Watch Wayne fly into space thanks to crypto. It's actually, I'm learning to fly. One of my life dreams, um, it was always to learn to fly. And it's actually crypto that's done that for me. Okay, I'm, I'm becoming a pilot as we speak. Um, but yeah. Um, being in it for years says Easton get confused and I've lost some this is what the kind of these people these Ponzi scheme owners these um, fraudsters um, prey on they will tell you how to get Bitcoin they'll take you through it then you give it to them and then you lose it okay this is a real way of learning money so you mostly yeses which is cool okay so I'm not going to hang about guys I'm going to bring in Aiden I'm going to bring in Aiden um, anytime you have a question okay this is all about you guys learning anytime you have a question butt in in the comments okay because then i'll butt in to <laughs> to aiden so that um there you go aiden you should be on there i'll butt into aiden because this is about you understanding cryptocurrencies understanding how you can earn money with them all right so aiden how are you mate hey wayne how are you going on thanks for having no me worries. on looking forward to just uh Sharing some cool training yeah, today. Yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. I told the guys about the $4,000 to $6,000 uh, overnight thing where part of what we're doing, guys, if you wait till the end, okay, you're going to watch me spend $10,000 on the strategies that Aiden's now going to show you. Exactly these strategies because in this world, Aiden, I think you'll agree, too many people say, go and do that, but you never see them do it. You never actually see the the people yeah. teaching this stuff do it in action and if you stand till the end you're going to see and copy my exact strategy or aiden's strategy i'm going to be copying aiden to be honest um but yeah tell the guys about about that quickly how i could have made two thousand dollars overnight oh uh, yeah we were just talking about this before we hopped on because uh as you said you're putting your money where your mouth is literally you're going to uh splash the cash and i, I had a particular thing i i said you were going to invest in uh, but the price I checked this morning, it had jumped like $2,000 in value. So I said, mm, I might have to relook at that. So it's it's just, it's it's taken off so quickly, but we're so early. So I'm looking forward to, it, to telling everybody about it. It's so, so early. It's so how exciting. How exciting is that? Because that isn't a one-off, is it? That's not something unusual that happens. So this is absolutely awesome. That gets me more excited. It doesn't make me think, oh, I missed out. It gets me more excited of the opportunities that are out there when you learn the right things. 100%. So Aiden, um, just a quick intro because I'd say we've got about half a pe half people have watched this before and half people okay. are new. So introduce yourself, um, and then we'll get stuck straight into the training, guys. Yeah, sure thing. So uh, for those who don't know me, my name my name is Aiden Corkery. I'm actually a, I'm actually a full time teacher uh, from Ireland uh, in a high school or a secondary school. Uh, just out our cap outside our capital city here in Dublin. Uh, so I work a full time job. Uh, I only really started getting into cryptocurrency over the last year and a half. And uh, I suppose, like anybody starting off, I didn't know much. I got burnt. I actually lost a fair bit of money. Uh, and then I started doing my own research and things like that. Started coming up with these simple strategies, which really started working for me and which I shared with Wayne. And uh, now that we're going to share with you today. So I think uh, we'll, we'll jump straight into it, Wayne, because I know people are pretty excited to, to get stuck into it. So I'm going to share my screen and I'm just going to make sure it's... Uh, um Dan, Dan says, morning guys, look, look like Wayne and Aiden both went to the same barber. It's actually a sheep sharer. It was a sheep <laughs> sharer, not a barber. Um, also, uh, a question from Carolyn. If you have some in a wallet, does that mean it's just stored there? Yeah, it's just like a normal wallet. You just put it there um, and take it out as you need it. Okay, Carolyn? So uh, that's exactly what a wallet does. And if you have any questions again, guys, okay, tell me because i will butt in because this is about you guys learning the real way the legitimate way to earn with cryptocurrencies aiden you might want to move me out of the way of the disclaimer then I'll... no everybody loves no, looking at you i don't like you right. 
<laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stick you over down here for a yeah. second. Hope everyone can not, see you. Not That's too all right. Fast, I'll get motion sickness. <laughs> <laughs> okay, folks. So listen, before I jump into the training, I do want to start with a disclaimer before we move forward. Uh, just really, really important. We covered this very, very quickly. So yeah, anything that we're going to cover in today's training is not financial advice and results are not guaranteed. Uh, I'm personally going to be discussing and showing you strategies that have personally worked for myself and my online business. And you have to understand, like with any investments, even when I do them, there are risks and make sure once you're done with this training and you leave the workshop that you carry out your own research before you invest. And most importantly, never invest more than you can afford to lose. I cannot stress that enough. Um, we want you doing this in any type of investing that you do decide to do that you do in a safe way. So really, really important that never invest more than you can afford to lose. OK, so that's the disclaimer out of the way. Um, oops, let me. My laptop here seems to be frozen okay we're good um just want to uh, just talk about some important points of what you're actually going to learn in today's uh, workshop okay so uh, i know wayne has sort of uh, touched on a, a few things about his own experience of cryptocurrency but i really want to show you strategies um that i'm going to discuss it's nothing to do with day trading okay it's 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 nothing like that I have to check on this every single day that I'm, I'm constantly checking my phone, looking at graphs and worrying about the price. Um, this is a very simple strategy. Literally, there's no technical skills needed. Once you have this strategy set up once, you're good to go. Like I said, I, I will be teaching and I said, I'm not worried about the price. I know it's all automated. I have it ready to go and I, I can be getting notifications of uh, successful trades and, and money hitting my account when I'm on my lunch break from work. Okay. So this is totally automated and uh, it's passive. And trust me, guys, if I can do this, a full time teacher can do this, anybody can do this. So I really want you to get into that mindset when we're going through these strategies that it is not difficult. Crypto people sort of get scared of it. They think it's some of it's scammed or they have been scammed before. We want to show you proper strategies that are personally working for us that you can take away from this workshop. Um, now, I don't know if this lady is here today, Rosemary, um, but uh, Rosemary is 72. Um, she's originally from the UK, but living in France, and she was one of our beta testers. And yeah, this just, again, shows you that anybody can do this strategy. Okay, like I said in the last slide, and this is a testimonial Rosemary uh, provided us, and she said, I'll read you it very quickly. I finally went through all the videos. All I can say is, wow, I was not interested in cryptocurrency, but the way Aiden has laid out the training, I would certainly invest in it. It is so easy to follow the steps to start investing in crypto. Even a novice can do it. He has covered everything that we need to know to start making money. I like the way he takes out half of his investment and reinvests it in another, another coin. That way one can build up our portfolio. I would certainly recommend this program. So I'm going to touch on that, what she said there at the end. But again, a 70-year-old, 72-year-old woman uh, has made her first investments in crypto and she knows how to apply the strategies that we're going to be teaching you on today's workshop again just showing you that anybody from any age range can do this i don't know if rosemary if you're here if you can say hello rosemary so people can see you're a real person i think rosemary has been on the last uh, two workshops so yeah rosemary's um, great <laughs> she there i don't know there's a 20 second delay right between when ah, okay. we speak and it reaches them it takes about 20 seconds <laughs> okay. Sorry. It's because we've got an Irish internet connection. Yeah, it must be as well. We still have, have dial-up over here. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's uh, let's just jump into uh, the first part of the of the of the training, okay? So I'm gonna presume a lot of people, like some of you, again, I don't know your level of experience. Some of you may have dabbled in crypto already, some of you have never even considered it. Um, I really want to talk about getting started with crypto and the most important things that you're going to do, particularly if you're new to crypto investing, okay? And so I have just some four things I'm gonna cover here. The very first thing you'll need to do, and it's probably the most important thing you're gonna do before you can do any type of investing, and that's actually getting an account on a coin exchange. Um, so a coin exchange is a place where you can actually go and buy crypto coins, okay? Now, one of the best coin exchanges I would recommend is called Binance. And uh, this is one of the largest coin exchanges out there. And the reason I like Binance is because it has lots of different choices. And that's really, really important. Um, most coin exchanges will only allow you to buy Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, some of the bigger ones. But Binance has a, a huge array of diff different cryptocurrency coins that you can actually invest in. Uh, and I'm going to talk about the importance of that later on. Um, so again, you're just going to have to set up a, a, an account on a coin exchange 
exchange. It's very, very straightforward to set up an account. It's free of charge. Uh, and again, you'll have to set up uh, an account on a coin exchange before you can actually buy any cryptocurrency. That's the first thing you're going to have to do. Uh, the second bit of advice I would advise you to do is, in particular is to do your own research before you invest in a coin. Um, when I first started off in crypto, I was totally misled. I was in uh, subscribed to YouTube channels, all these influence, influencers that were telling me to buy this coin. It was the next big thing. And I just lost a lot of money from listening to social media, the mainstream media. Um, so the most important thing you can do if you're new to crypto is actually do your own research. Don't listen to anybody else. If you hear it from social media, it's probably been heavily invested in and you're buying in at the top. And we'll talk a little bit more about that later on. So it's really, really important that if you're new to crypto, research different coins, before you actually invest in them. And I'm going to show you exactly where I go to do my own so, research later on. So, I, Aiden, just to, yep. sorry to put in there, I got a few people messaging me and saying they got burnt by these Ponzi's. Um, I've actually got three people messaging me, which I didn't have last time. This is legit stuff. Like, cryptocurrencies are traded, guys, okay? So, it's basically um, you buy a cryptocurrency in the hoop that it goes up. OK, but what um, Adam will show you in a minute, why they go up and down um, and what things to avoid. This isn't a Ponzi. This isn't you're giving a Bitcoin to someone else. You don't know who they are. You're giving it to exchanges. OK, trusted exchanges. All right. So do not be scared that someone's going to run off with your money. OK, hopefully that makes sense, especially for people that may be newer to this. OK, newer to this cryptocurrency side. Yeah, generally coin exchanges, the major ones like Binance, they, they are very safe and um, like they're not 100% safe and like in terms of buying them is not a problem. But what I al always encourage people to do is once they invest in cryptocurrency, that they don't leave them on the exchange. Now, Binance is one of the biggest coin exchanges in the world. Uh, it's very unlikely that it would be hacked, but there's always that possibility that it might. Uh, so without taking any chances, and this is number uh, three here, you can see on the on the slide, when you invest in any type of crypto cryptocurrency, do not leave them stored on the coin exchange. So I don't leave my coins on Binance. I buy them there, but I usually move them onto an external digital wallet for safekeeping. Now, a digital wallet is literally like an app on my phone. It's like a wallet that you keep your money in, um, literally you put in your pocket, but this digital wallet is actually stored on my phone and I have special keys and a password that only I can access my digital wallet and access my cryptocurrency. So, um, once you have your own keys and password, you have total control over your crypto assets. Um, if I left them all on the exchange, which you can do, you can just leave them there for safekeeping in your wallet on the exchange. But unfortunately, exchanges can be hacked and, and, and things can be stolen and you won't be able to get them back. So it's always really important to store your cryptocurrency uh, on an external digital wallet that you can keep on your phone. Now, I'm going to talk about different digital wallets, the ones that I personally use later on that you can make a note of, and they're literally free to download. Um, and I'll go through some other ones as well that I use myself. So I'll, I'll share them with you later on in the training. The last one, the last thing I advise people once they're getting started with crypto, uh, Wayne just mentioned it there that when you invest in crypto, you're, you're hoping that it does go up uh, and not down. Ideally, we all want our investments to go up. Uh, but it's really, really important that you don't get selfish and and it's really, really important that you set targets to take out profits once your investment does begin to rise. The crypto uh, market is, is highly volatile. It can go up. It can go down very, very quickly. So um, when it pumps up, you want to make sure that you're in place and you have targets in place to actually take out some profits to start getting your initial investment back. And I'll talk about the importance of that later on, okay, of actually setting a target to actually make sure that you get your initial investment back so you have limited risk. Um, I want to also touch on common beginner mistakes. And I put this slide together because I literally made all of these mistakes here that you can see uh, on the slide. And I don't want that to happen to you. Um, so usually when people first dabble in crypto, um, many investors only buy coins when they are rising in value. So this is called chasing green candles. This is when the, the coin is skyrocketing in value and people are excited. They don't want to miss out on the opportunity because it's rising so much and they will buy in when the price is actually pumping and it's actually moving in an in a, in a upward direction, an upward trajectory. Um, the other flip side of this is when the price actually drops suddenly and you go into a big red graph and it's like going down, uh, this is ends up people start chasing red candles and people are actually panicking and they're selling their investment at a loss. Now, I'm going to just show you a quick picture of what I actually mean by that. 
I'm just going to skip a little bit ahead in front terms of the presentation here. Um, so this is what I mean by green candles. Um, so particularly, and this happened to me when I was brand new to crypto investing, uh, I was watching these YouTube videos and everybody was telling me to buy a certain coin and the price was rising and it's never going to stop. Uh, and this, unfortunately, when you're new, you are very susceptible to these sort of uh, social media influencers or the mainstream media. And they're telling you to buy now, buy now. So people will buy when the price, everybody's happy, the price is rising. But these guys um, have an agenda. They want you to buy up here because more likely they're going to sell when it begins to rise up even higher. And this is when the price begins to drop. This is your red candle, okay? And this is this this is not the fun part. This is where your, your portfolio, you actually start losing uh, value in your investment and it keeps going down, it keeps going down. And then the narrative changes from these from the media or social media. They suddenly tell you to stop buying and they start selling you to sell, okay? Sell now, sell now before you lose all of your investment. So. You have to really understand that the cryptocurrency market is heavily, heavily manipulated when you're going in new. OK, um, they, they, these influencers, these um, these the mainstream media, they don't have your best interests at heart. They have an agenda. OK, and um, but that, unfortunately, that's where people turn to when they start Googling. They end up on a YouTube video. So many new investors will only consider investing in coins that they've heard about from a YouTube video from a, a person who has subscribers of millions of people. And well, if, if, if he's saying it, it must be true. Or if she's saying it, it must be true. So uh, unfortunately, that's 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 a problem. That's That was my first real sort of kick in the teeth uh, when I started investing for the first time that I got sucked into investing in coins by watching YouTube influencers and I lost a lot of money fast. So I do not want that to happen to anybody uh, once they get off this call today, if they do consider to start investing in crypto, always do your own research first. Okay, so I have a quick question for everybody, and Wayne, you can um, you can let me know if uh, if there are any questions uh, just that I haven't covered yet. But I just want to ask this as well, and you can let me know. Yeah. What are the most common crypto coins people on this call have heard of? Just give me a ballpark figure of anyone the level of experience of crypto and their knowledge of crypto. Looks like we've got quite a lot from the comments already made, mate. Cool. Let's have a look. So people are saying. Uh, Clever Wallet is good. Just wait for them to come through. HyperPay Wallet. So Seely just asked, um, suggested digital wallet app. We'll cover that in a minute, Seely. And we cut. We'll cover that wallet. Aiden will cover that in a second. Let's see. Waiting for the. Hey, there we go. I got a first one. The obvious one. Bitcoin. Yep. Cardano. Good, Seely. Very good one. Uh, this is one I'm actually going to get stuck into. Let's see. Come on, guys. Give me some. Give me some example. What cryptocurrencies? You, electronium. Another another good one. Electronium's a good example because that actually went mental uh, in the past twenty four hours because they uh, created a joint venture with Ripple. Funnily enough. Oh, wow. Yeah, that that went that doubled literally overnight when my friend sent me a screenshot. Um, Litecoin, Electronium, Dodge, uh, BNB, F, LTC. Traffic, I'm not going to say that one. <laughs> Tron. Um, brilliant. TRX, yeah. Uni. I don't know what Uni is. Never heard of it. Oh, it's probably Uniswap. Oh, okay. Um, Tron is a big one. Third, fourth, Tron. So there's tons of different ones. XRP, yeah. Okay, cool. Wow, yeah. There's some nice different ones today. Okay, good. So I definitely have some people here who've, who've heard of uh, some alternative ones before. Okay, so that's that's good. Um I suppose the main ones people have heard of, obviously, and was mentioned there at the start, is Bitcoin, okay? And obviously, Bitcoin is the granddaddy of them all. It's it's the original cryptocurrency, and uh, it is the most popular one. It's it's the more most one that's talked about in mainstream media or on Twitter or wherever. And um, again, we just need to think back here because Bitcoin has been around since two thousand and eight, two thousand and nine. It's like it's not it's 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 fairly old in terms of in, in years compared to the, all the other ones. Um, but again, think about when when have you considered even about investing in Bitcoin? And if you look at this graph here, you can see most people came into Bitcoin roughly last year and this year, 2020 and 2021. You can see there was a massive spike in value of new investors. Okay. Um, but this is what I'm talking about. 
this is a green candle. I talked about this earlier on where people only buy when the price is pumping. And that's when most people began to invest in Bitcoin is when YouTubers were telling them to do it, when the mainstream media, CNBC and all these business channels channels were telling them, yes, buy Bitcoin. It's safe. It's going to rocket. It's going to the moon. And you got all these retail investors who literally chase that green candle. They're on a rocket ship. And it was so exciting. But the smart people who believed in Bitcoin way back were buying it down here in 2012 even. And it wasn't $60,000. It was a couple of hundred dollars. So the smart people who believed in cryptocurrency were buying down here when the price was really, really low. And if you had invested just $20 of Bitcoin in 2012 and held it for nine years, you would be a millionaire. Crazy. So, that is this this is just something you have to be mindful of guys if the media i told you are te- if the price is pumping and they're telling you to buy more likely it's a trap you're buying up here at the top and then it, it'll dip and they'll tell you to sell when the smart people were just buying and holding back here and they were just letting all this madness happen setting targets to when they wanted to take out their profits so that's just one example uh here's another big co- big uh, big uh, crypto project I don't know if it was mentioned, but Ethereum, I'm sure a lot of people have heard of it. Uh, Ethereum this year, I actually couldn't find a graph, but Ethereum, the price of Ethereum now is $2,000 a coin. Uh, But it's the same situation. The mainstream media and social media and and all those influence were telling people to buy Ethereum. It's the next big thing. It's going to outpass Bitcoin. The price was rising and people were buying. They were chasing that green candle. But the smart people who believed in the Ethereum project were buying well back before 2012 when the price was literally under $100 and they were buying and holding. And as it rose in value, they probably set set some targets, took some profits and kept holding until it rose again. Okay. So if you invested $20 of Ethereum in 2012 down here and just held it now, uh, it would be worth $16,000 today. Okay. But again, people chase the candles. They buy up when the price is high up here and the smart people are buying down here. Uh, well before the price pumps. This one is probably the the most controversial of the crypto coins that uh, have really come to prominence this year, and that's Dogecoin. And um, Dogecoin has been around since around 2014. It's, you could consider a meme coin. It doesn't really have a purpose, but it has a massive cult following. Um, And that's all down due to Elon Musk. Uh, If Obviously, you don't know who Elon Musk is. Uh, He's a billionaire, sort of absolute genius, owns uh, Tesla. Uh, But he got into cryptocurrency, and he's pretty much moved the crypto market by his tweets. And uh, he has an affection for Dogecoin, and he started putting out some tweets to his millions and millions of followers, pretty much telling them to buy Bitcoin, not Bitcoin, sorry, buy Dogecoin. And look at the price of it this year. It's been a rocket ship. That green candle skyrocketed. And... Unfortunately, there is a lot of sheep that will follow the herd and they ball up here. Okay, lots of people invested lots of money. Some people I've seen their life savings, horrible stories of going, buying this green candle up here and then the price dumping when the market crashed. While the smart people who didn't really understand what Dogecoin was, they just liked the idea of it, unlike the dog probably, just bought some here, held on in 2014, and now they are new multimillionaires. Literally. People who bought Dogecoin in 2014 probably forgot about it, kept it in their wallet, had a look at it again and realized that they were millionaires. So if you invested $20 in Doge in 2014, it would be worth roughly around $17,000 today. Okay. So I hope you're sort of seeing that pattern, guys, of what the media, mainstream media and social media do. They encourage you to buy when the price is pumping, when in reality you should be buying when the price is nice and low. And just holding, as, as Wayne mentioned earlier, okay, just hold, hold on to it for dear life, set targets and take your profits, take your risk off the table uh, and don't be manipulated because it can be quite emotional uh, and the media will look to exploit that. It's just human nature. Okay, so this is going to be our, our first top tip that I want to share with you. And this is something that I do on a regular basis when it comes to my own crypto investing. And this is what I, I taught Wayne, uh, showed Wayne what to do. Uh, and this strategy is simply called buy in low, sell high. So pretty much to reverse what we were talking about in the previous slides. We want to buy in low and sell high, not buy buy high and sell low. Okay, um, so let's just talk a little bit about this strategy. And 
the very first thing when I look to buy in low and I look to uh, look at a different potential crypto project that I'm going to invest in, the very first thing I do is do my own research. And I go to a website that you can see here on the slide. It's called coingecko.com. So definitely make a note of that website. It's a fantastic resource. And that's where I always go when I look to invest in new crypto projects. Now, I'm just going to share my screen. I know I'm just going to have to uh, go back to Skype here one second, Wayne. And I'm going to have to just, just uh, share my desktop. I'm just going to switch screen here and just let me know when you can see. You see CoinGecko there? Uh, yes, we can, mate. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So this is CoinGecko, and this is the very first place I'll go uh, when I'm looking to research new uh, cryptocurrency projects that I want to invest in. So I'm looking for a cryptocurrency project um, that is low to invest in, that has a very low entry level. Now, generally, on the first page, you have your, your, your top 100 coins, and they can be quite expensive to buy in. Not all of them, but... Generally, I look for the hidden gems. I'll just I'll just scroll a few pages back. I literally, I'll just keep going, keep going, um, and it'll it'll sort of load them up. So you can sort of set it up. You can go back uh, a couple of pages. So um, generally, what you'll do is I'll just have a scroll around. I'll look at a particular coin. I'll click on it, and all the information I need. So this one here is quite uh, quite low to invest in. It's like a cent, okay? But I want to find out more about this cryptocurrency coin. So what CoinGecko has, it has the website. It has uh, their social media channels. And what I'll do is I'll maybe pick about maybe 10 coins, maybe less, and I'll just look at the at the uh, website, see what partnerships they have, see what their plan is for the future, what does their crypto pr uh, project actually look to do. Uh, and then I'll also join, as I said, their social media channels. I'll uh, follow them on Twitter. I'll uh, join their Telegram group. I'll see how active they are with their community. Do they, do they provide relevant information? Do they keep the community updated on what's happening with their crypto project? And if they're doing all those things, and I believe that this project has a future and has actual, an actual purpose, I'll actually then make a decision to invest in it. Okay, So it's a really, really powerful uh, way of actually finding these hidden gems. Okay, There is a lot more projects out there that are very cheap to buy into compared to Bitcoin and Ethereum. Can, okay, so just really important to understand that. Aiden, just um, just so the guys understand, like a lot of the coins actually have a use, guys, or planned use is what you're buying into. Um, a lot of it is about the technology behind the co the coin, how the blockchain is used. Okay, so some people think, well, surely a like I did when I started, surely all these different cryptocurrencies are just used as like a form of currency. But did you want to explain that side of it a little, tiny bit, Aiden, just so people get it? How the blockchain? Yeah, so I just miss you. Just uh, oh, how the oh yeah, the blockchain. How the blockchain is used and the technology in some of these coins is used. Yeah, yeah. So like, um, I think you mentioned one like uh, earlier on, uh, XRP and the organization called Ripple. Like that is an example of a crypto project that has a utility. It has a technology behind it. So they're going to be dealing with banks and they're going to be allowing them to literally banks from different parts of the world to send instant payments without having to wait days for the money to arrive in the different accounts. It just it's on the blockchain. Cross-border payments happen instantly. And that's just one example. And there's so many crypto projects. Again, there's thousands of them on CoinGecko. You can literally be all day looking. Um, but each one of them should have a purpose. A lot of them don't. Some of them are just meme coins. They're just they're 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 rubbish. But so it's about finding good ones that actually have the technology behind it, as as Wayne said, and that they're actually going to have a future. Uh, um, so again, look, you can just see some of the ones here. There's ones you can buy in for literally not even a cent. Um, they're really low price at the moment. Uh, so they're the ones I generally look at. I look at their 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 future utility. As I said, I joined their social media, find out more about them. And that's how I that's how I make my decision before I actually uh, go and invest in anything. OK, so I don't just, as I said, watch a uh, YouTube video and go, right, I'm going to buy this coin because that person told me to. I would rather make an informed decision and um, actually research myself. And that is the safest way to do that. OK. Mm -hmm. Um, um, I just want to butt in there, Aiden. There's people saying, yeah. you've got so much knowledge. How do I do the research? What kind of thing are you looking for? Guys, uh, we're going to show you that towards the end. Okay? Yeah. We'll show you that. Stay on and stay tuned until the end. Because for me, I haven't got time to do this. <laughs> okay, that's just me. But we'll show you something towards the end, which will take all of this out of it. Yep. 
absolutely yeah look i will definitely be sharing that at the end um and I just wanted to touch on, obviously, CoinGecko, as I just showed you there. That, that's where you're going to find those hidden diamonds. That's, that's where I go to do my research. Uh, now, I never really, as I said, I won't spend thousands of dollars uh, on a, a new coin with a low entry point. I'll, uh, I, I, again, I, I'm careful, okay? I, I never invest more than I'm afford to lose. I only invest money that literally I will survive without it. If I make a decision, because not all my investments are 100% accurate all of the time, but the ones I'm going to show you in a few minutes, uh, most of them have because I've done the research and I've made I made an investment based on my research and I haven't overcommitted to the coin, okay? Uh, so never invest more than you can afford to lose when you do decide uh, on a coin that you've researched from CoinGecko. And as I mentioned, never keep all of your coins on an exchange. You need to move them onto an external digital wallet. Now I have a list uh, here of some of the ones that I use. These are my main ones that I use. Uh, Exodus is a free digital wallet that you can uh, literally download the app on your phone. You can set up an account, get your password and private keys. Same with Trust Wallet. That's another uh, great free one. And this one here is a Ledger Nano. This is like a USB stick that I literally keep in my house in a lockbox. And I keep my most valuable cryptocurrency literally stored on. It's like a USB USB stick that literally I carry with me and I'm the only one who has access to it. So you do have to pay for that one, but Exodus and Trust Wallet are two free digital uh, apps or digital wallets that you can store on your phone and they're excellent. Uh, they're the main two, two ones that I would use on a daily basis. I just keep my more uh, valuable uh, coins on my Ledger Nano that I store on it. Like it's like a USB stick and I keep that in my house, but that is, that's a paid wallet, a hard wallet. Now, Again, with the buy in low, sell high strategy, generally what I do, so say if I find a new coin and I say I invest $100 and I get uh, maybe 3,000 coins, okay, for example, uh, what I'll do, if my investment literally doubles, I will sell half of my coins. So I'll sell 1,500 of them to cover my initial investment, to get my $100 back. And I will leave $1,500 maybe on the exchange or a coin exchange or on, uh, I'll leave them on my wallet. And I will, uh, once it rises even further in value, I may decide to take more out over time. But generally, I just hold on to them for a couple of years because I believe in the project. I've researched it. I believe that the prices potentially will go like Bitcoin over time. Once it's adopted, once it gets more uh, um, attention from the YouTubers, from the media, then it will explode. And then I'll be able to sell profits along the way. So that's just a strategy that I personally do. It just eliminates my risk. This is what I showed to Wayne. I'll show you the examples in a few minutes. But that's generally what I do. If I, have, if I buy 3,000 coins, I will sell half of them to get my investment back and keep the 1500 and I will just hold them for a couple of years until it rises in value and then I can decide when I want to sell them. So that's really, really important. Think long term. This isn't a slot machine. You will get rewarded for holding. Uh, set targets and withdraw profits in gradual amounts from the coins that you have left over. Okay. Um, right. So let me show you an example of this because I know some people are excited to sort of see this. Okay, let me show you my results of buying in low and selling high and show you some examples of coins that I researched on CoinGecko and I, uh, I said bought in at a very low entry level. Okay, so the first one is a cryptocurrency. I don't know if anyone's heard of it. It's called Chili's, CHZ. Now, back in March, nobody heard of it because I had done my own research. I had found it on CoinGecko and I really liked the sound of it. Sound of it. And the reason being, it was because of its connection to sport, in particular soccer or football, based on where you're watching this, okay? And uh, I made a post about this. I saw on CoinGecko, I, I sort of uh, was on their Twitter following the Chili's pro uh, project on Twitter. I was in their Telegram group as well. I'd read their white paper, looked at their website, and these guys had already had partnerships with big soccer teams in Italy, Spain, uh, in, in Brazil, in different parts of the world. and. Immediately, I was like, this is perfect. They have partnerships in place. They have, a, they have a, a plan that they're going to implement over the next couple of years to make their project even bigger, and they're branching out into different sports. So immediately, this coin, it was about three, four cents to buy in per coin. I was like, this, this has a lot of potential, just on based on the research that I did. I even made a Facebook post about it, okay? I just said, if you were getting into crypto, and this is in March, early March. If you're getting into crypto and like sports, maybe consider getting a bag of this CHZ coin and hold the SHIT out of it for the next two years. 
They literally generated AC Milan, which is a big soccer club in Italy, over 6 million US dollars in digital currency when they launched their own token in February. And they also have deals with Barcelona and the Ultimate Fighting Championship, the UFC. And they're expanding their projects further into the United States with a $50 million investment project. I said not financial advice, but if you've seen NFT crazes and, and different uh, cryptocurrency projects, you need to get, uh, get in on this. You can see it got about four likes. No one cared. Well, this is what happened. Okay, this is what happened with Chili's. From doing my research on CoinGecko, I bought in down here when it was about, I said, two to four cents. And over a couple, the couple of weeks, okay, I didn't even look at it. I had set my targets to get my initial investment back once it doubled. So when it went, went to about eight cents, I cashed out half of my stack and I left that other half in. But look what happened to the price. Literally, mainstream media got a hold of it. I saw YouTube influencers talking about it on Twitter, on YouTube. It even uh, mentioned on the mainstream media, on newspaper articles, and it skyrocketed all the way up to 60 cent. And you can see here, it went higher, and now it's somewhere down about here. But I'm still higher than I did uh, up in this, uh, than my initial investment. I'm still up. And all I've done is I've held on to my other half of my stack. I've, I keep it on my Ledger Nano, uh, on my USB stick. I'm going to leave it there for a couple of years because Chili's are an exciting project. They've literally branched into ice hockey, NFL. Uh, these guys are here for the long term. So that is just an example of a cryptocurrency project that I believe in, that I researched myself, and I bought in when I wanted to, not when someone told me to. So I hope everyone can sort of just see what, what I did there, okay? And, and look what happened to the price and where it's at now. I'm, I'm still up in my investment, the half, the half the coins that I have left over, and I have zero risk. Yeah, so there's just a screenshot of currently what my portfolio was worth. Uh, Here's a uh, in interesting question, Aiden, because I actually thought yeah. this. So Jerry says Ch uh, Chili's is linked with Big Sports Club, but what is its purpose? What does it actually do? Its purpose is it's actually technology to actually create tokens. So they'll actually help with the, the establishment. They'll create tokens on their blockchain and provide that service for a club like AC Milan. They'll create the tokens for them and host it on their platform. Um, so basically, that's the, that's that's their strategy. But a very good question. It's a bit of a strange use um, use case. Yeah, but that's it's, it's working for them. Yeah. They they've they branched out into different so different uh, different types of sports, and they continue to do so. Um, so you can sort of see there that the price now that my portfolio I, I sold have my stack, and then it continues to rise in value. So um, yeah, my initial investment uh, it cost me one hundred thirty three dollars, and again I'm 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 still up. I'm still up, which is great. Uh, I want to give you another example uh, of another cryptocurrency coin. It's called NKN. It's called New Kind of Network. And um, this cryptocurrency project that I researched on CoinGecko, uh, again, very professional website. I looked at looked at the, the uh, founders of it, looked at their LinkedIn. They had a lot of partnerships. And uh, what I really liked was the project itself. And their overall goal is to use blockchain technology to help speed up the internet and make it uh, internet speeds equal for everybody. Now, don't ask me how they do that, the nuts and bolts of it. Just their mission statement, uh, the, the the team behind it, the partnerships that they had in place. Um, again, I just said, right, this seems like a good project to invest in. It's very, very low entry point. Again, around two to three cent to buy a coin. I said, I'm going to take a going to take a risk, and I'm going to take a punt on this coin. Um, so again, I go back to I think around uh, February or ma early March. Again, I bought in down here when AKN was roughly about two to three cent. Then when I doubled my initial investment, I took out half my coins. Then this one just went on absolute rampage. It just sort of ended up all over social media. It was listed on Coinbase, some big exchanges. It had uh, deals with PayPal, or sorry, Revolut. Uh, it got listed there, and the price just skyrocketed. Uh, but then the market crashed, and now it's back down here. But I'm still higher. Uh, I've got my money back that I invested, and now I'm just holding it. For dear life, hoping that it, one day it will go back to its all-time high here, or even go even further. But again, it has a utility, it has a future, it has great partnerships. They communicate regularly through their Telegram and Twitter, so it's going places. It's not going anywhere. So I know I just need to hold it, hold half my stack, and wait for it to rise, and I can cash out more profits whenever I want to. Okay, that's just currently now. Uh, when it was sixty-two cent, my half my stack was roughly there. I, worth, I invested one hundred seventy dollars, and I was in profit of six hundred fifty-seven just by holding. Okay, just yeah, and it's hopefully in the next couple of years. If I do this uh, call again with you, Wayne, it'll uh, it'll be worth a lot, lot more. All right, so let's look at this guy here, Wayne Crow. 
because I uh, I don't know if he told you I was like a well he claims I'm a mosquito you were like annoying a mosquito. him. But I, I, I didn't <laughs> I didn't was. say that. Story. Kept telling me to go yeah. away. Did you no. not? No. Tell him this. Tell him. I won't. I won't tell him the profanities <laughs> used to, to tell me to go away. I was quite persistent with Wayne. I said, Wayne, please trust me. Like we've met each other at our events. We sort of know each other. I. He was like, right. I'm going to take a chance. And uh, I'm pretty sure he, he glad he took that chance and listened to what I had to say when when, when I kept pestering him. Uh, but I pretty much just told Wayne this strategy. I'm like, Wayne, literally, I will just tell you about these coins. Buy in at the man low entry point. Set your targets. Get half your get to get your money back and just leave the rest uh, stored in your in your digital wallet. Okay, and just just hold it. So again, I gave Wayne this coin. It's called Singular DTV. And uh, again, did my research on Coin Gecko. Really liked the sound of this one. And this um, uh, cryptocurrency project was heavily involved in bringing blockchain technology to the entertainment industry. They had great partnerships with different musicians. Um, uh, what do you call them? the people who sign artists, musical artists, and also the movie industries as well. They were breaking in there, bringing blockchain blockchain technology, introducing it to, to those uh, to that niche. Uh, so again, really, really exciting project. Already had good partnerships, uh, had a plan. I liked the sound of it. So uh, I invested in this myself, and I told Wayne to take a punt on it as well. And uh, this is what happened with Wayne's investment. Uh, he bought in to Singular DTV when it was literally under a cent. He got thousands of coins. I forget exactly how many, uh, but literally he uh, doubled his money. He got his initial investment back. And again, the price rose significantly and uh, Wayne was uh, in healthy profit. Uh, his portfolio, this is literally after he got his money back, he was up 800, still up $876 and he was still making money in his portfolio that day. So, um, so hey, yeah. And I want to tell the people the work and yeah. what got me interested. So, guys, um, obviously, I run a fairly big business, um, and I have to look after that. I don't want to be sitting here all day, and this is what I said to Ain. I don't want to be sitting there all day looking at things, research. I haven't got time. So, Ain said, I will just give you the coins to buy. Just I, And I said, if you can do that, I'm happy. I'll do that. Um, thinking it would um, end. I can't, Mike Peterson, I've seen a few people met, talking about his spam. I can't see it, but I've got my team on it, guys, so we always get a spammer. Um, anyway, um, so um, Aiden, literally when a coin came up, he'd done his research and he was confident in it. He told me what it was. I spent two minutes. I went in and bought it. These are the results, okay? So I just want to make that clear. I didn't do anything and I made money. It's the easiest money pretty much I've ever made because of two minutes work and I made $442. You can see yesterday's p &L in one day. All right, so that that is all I've done. That is how much. And then once I've done that, I said, Aiden, you're my new best friend. Tell me all the time. <laughs> Tell me all the time. Didn't even have to scratch himself. <laughs> Didn't even have to scratch himself. Well, again, Wayne, I, my, just to make sure that this wasn't a fluke, uh, I gave Wayne uh, another coin and uh, I said to him, listen, just want to make sure that you know that this works and it wasn't a, a fluke. Um, so I suggested this cryptocurrency project called Monitha. Uh, again, another really exciting project that I researched on CoinGecko. Uh, they really, again, want to sort of use digital currency like uh, like PayPal and, again, allowing people to buy, buy things and shop using dis different digital currencies on their app um, and actually give you rewards for for spending money and and, and putting cryptocurrency on their app. So, again, just a really interesting project, good partnership. So I was like, okay, really low entry point for you here, Wayne. On like I think it was at a cent when he bought in uh, in in March, whenever it was. So he bought in here when it was yeah literally less than two cent. Uh, it went up to four cent like a week. I think it was two to three weeks later. You got lucky. It just rose in value and you cashed out half your. You got your investment back. And look here, it just went on a, a big run up here to six cent. And now the market took a tumble. But Wayne's risk was off the table. He made his money back. And uh, again. This will rise up eventually again. The market's like waves. It goes up, it goes down, and you just set your targets. And once they get once they get back up again, have your targets ready to go. And as I said, Wayne doesn't even have to scratch himself. He'll have his targets set, and he'll uh, he'll cash out more profits later on, and he has zero risk. Um, again, this was uh, at the height of it. Wayne had his money back, and he was, again, up another 800 His portfolio, half his coins were then worth $818, which was a lot less than he actually invested in. So, uh, yeah, it just, again, I proved to Wayne again that, this strategy buying in low selling high uh it works yeah 100 percent. i can attest to that <laughs> okay so the second uh, strategy that i'm going to encourage people once they uh if they look to invest in cryptocurrency is to use this strategy and this is called staking your crypto 
Okay. Uh, now, some of you may, again, based on your level of experience, know what staking is. I'm just going to explain what it is for people who don't know what it is and just talk about the power of this and how this strategy can actually make you even more money long term without doing, uh, pardon my friend, sweet F all. Okay. Staking is so simple to do. Okay. So, um, what is staking? What, what do we mean by that when we talk about cryptocurrency? Well, some crypto coins will allow you to, to stake them, okay, or use this feature called staking. And essentially what staking is, it's like putting your money away in a savings deposit box, okay? Um, so when you stake your cryptocurrency coins, you will lock away your coins for a certain period of time and you will earn interest on your initial investment and get free coins passively over time. So Literally, I will stake some of my cryptocurrency on my digital wallet. You can do this all within your digital wallet. You keep your coins on your wallet and you literally click a button that says stake. And once you click that button, every single month, you will get free cryptocurrency of the cryptocurrency coin that you're staking. Okay. And the more coins that you stake, the more free coins you will receive passively. So it's a little bit like a bank account or a savings account when you put money into a bank and you, you'll earn <laughs> literally very little, little interest in a bank with cryptocurrency it's totally different if you look, find the right coins they will give you fantastic annual percentage yields okay so different cryptocurrency coins will actually give you a higher percentage of profit every month that you hold or stake your crypto coins and this is such an easy thing to do i don't know one person in the world that would not be able to literally click a button that says stake and stake their coins to earn free cryptocurrency every single month. So essentially what staking allows you to do, it, it's making your crypto assets work for you while you literally do nothing, just while you hold them. Okay, While you lock them away in your digital wallet, you click a button that says stake, and every single month you'll earn free crypto. It's that simple. And staking is so, so powerful. Now, I want to, again ask, uh, I think I heard one person mention this, but I just want to double check uh, just in terms of people's general knowledge. Has anyone ever heard of the coin Cardano, also known as ADA? Uh, Wayne, just let me know just the feedback from that. Yep, someone CD mentioned this before. Um, let, have you heard of Cardano? This is one that I am going to be going in, I think, depending on what uh, Aiden says, but uh, Tom says, do you stake on Binance or in the wallet? Uh, I always stake on the wallet. You can on Binance, but again, you are. There is a certain risk there that, again, I never leave coins on the exchange. I'll always, generally on my Exodus wallet, I, I'll I'll stake there instead. Yep. So quite a few people have heard of Cardano. Eric, Eric says, nope. Um, just a, quite a well-known coin, I'd say, compared with... Yeah, yeah. It really has uh, sort of over the last couple of months, uh, I would say from last November, it, it has uh, literally, it's a top 10 crypto coin now. It sort of came out of nowhere. Uh, but Cardano is an example of a coin that can be staked. And that's what I love about it. And uh, I bought in on it. Um, I think it's it's over like a dollar now. I bought in it when it was about, I think, uh, uh, 32 cent or something so, like that. So you have made but, money holding that and staking it because you get more coins. Yeah, awesome. exactly. I haven't sold it. I, I literally believe it again. It's sort of I've researched. Now, I didn't actually do that from CoinGecko. I'll be honest about that. I did uh, hear about it from, a, from an, another uh, marketer that I know. And I just got in on it. And um, I, I bought, I think, about 500 uh, Cardano coins or something like that. But I haven't touched them. I literally staked them, okay? So you can see this is actually a screenshot from my Exodus wallet, my digital wallet. I store my Cardano there. It's locked away, and I stake it. And every single month, even right now as I'm talking, I am earning Cardano slow, slowly but surely. Uh, and at the end of each month, on average, I'm getting two free coins per month, which is roughly about 20 free coins per year. Now, imagine I just hold this for the next 10 years and Cardano, let's say, and realistically it could, I imagine I'm quite confident that in, in the next 10 years, it could go up to like $100 per coin. And if I keep staking it, I could literally earn $200 passively per month, okay, if I wanted to. So it's totally up to me. I'm in full control of it now. I'm staking it. I believe in the long-term uh, utility of Cardano. And why not just keep holding it? And why not stake it on my wallet for free? lock it away, and I'm still getting passive coins per month. That's the power of staking. And all I have to do is click a button within my digital wallet. Got it. I want I to show want you. To in. Guys, can you see the power of what Aiden's sharing? Um, I just want because just watching this again, this is obviously the third time I watch this, but it's got me excited again. Can you see the power 
um, of what Aiden Scam. And I know he's not gone deep into the strategies, but can you see the power? And are you excited by the possibilities of this stuff? Because I am. It really is kind of. I actually want to get started now with all the new things that Aiden's going to show us. Let me know. Let me know in the comments if you find this really like you've got what, what we call that aha moment with this stuff. Tom says yes because I am. I'm. I am excited by this because all what's been discussed so far. Tom says yes. Give me a hell yes. Because <laughs> Stone Cold Steve Austin hell yeah. Oh yes, yeah, says Greg. I am. Um, and you're going to find out ex exactly what I'm going to be doing as well very shortly, guys. Sorry, Aiden, I butted in there. But th okay, th no, this is okay. the, like this steak and all of what you talked about and what you're going to talk about is mega exciting stuff. It really is tip of the, you know, tip of the iceberg stuff. Yeah, like um, this coin here, and I, I would definitely, again, uh, not financial advice, but it's it's a very good uh, crypto project that I have invested in personally, and it's called Safe Haven. And this is another example of a coin that you're able to stake. Now, I have this on a different wallet, um, but it's the same process. I keep all of my Safe Haven coins on my digital wallet, and I'm allowed to stake my Safe Haven each month. Now, this the only difference, I suppose, with this one is uh, at the end of each month, I get my coins and then I have to restake it the next month. So I just have to make sure every single month that I press the staking button to restake it. Okay. So you can see here, I have about 101,000 of these safe haven coins. It was so, so cheap to buy into. Uh, but every single month, just by staking it, I get 296 free coins per month just by holding it on my wallet and staking it. And that will translate into 3,552 coins per year. And again, the same idea applies. I'm hoping long term, Safe Haven is a crypto project that will literally it allow you to easily uh, sort of, um, if you have your digital assets stored, you can. It's like in, when you die, you have a will. You can distribute it. You can instruct Safe Haven to distribute your different crypto assets to different people, and it's all set up ready to go. So it's got. I believe in time, it will be a very a uh, useful project that has real utility. And that's why I'm just going to hold on to them till they rise in value and just keep staking, keep getting my free coins every month. And when it rises in value, I can just cash out my free coins if I wanted to and make easy free money that way because it's just, it's it's free. It's passive just, just by staking it and locking it away and holding it. So that's just an example of a, a different one that pays out even a higher yield than Cardano does. Okay, so there's lots of different staking coins out there that will that will allow you to do this. Okay, so I hope everyone's sort of uh, seen the power of staking, and I've sort of saved the best for last, and this is something that I am so, so excited about. Uh, I, I just really, really think that we are so early, uh, and this is talking about NFTs. So the last strategy I'm going to share to you to make uh, profits with cryptocurrency is investing in NFTs. Now, Again, I want to make sure, uh, just generally see where we're at in terms of uh, let people's level of experience and knowledge. How many people have heard of NFTs? Maybe, Wayne, you can just let me know the feedback there. Yep. Uh, let's have a look. Loads of loads of positive feedback uh, so far, mate. Um, so I think everyone's probably heard of this, including me, uh, and wondered what the hell it, what, what the hell it is. Including me, when I kept hearing, I was thinking, "What the hell is it?" But you're now gonna, guys. This is, this is where it gets bloody brilliant. This stuff. Yeah, you know, I definitely, I, I like saving this this strategy for last. Um, now, okay, I'll just, okay, I'm sure there, are, there is general people have heard of NFTs, but might necessarily know what they are. So I'm just gonna spend very just a couple of minutes just talking, uh, what NFTs are and and sort of the depend potential that they have. So for those who don't know what an NFT is, it stands for non fungible token. Essentially, another word for non-fungible token, tokens are their digital assets that are stored on the blockchain and that cannot be replicated or edited. So uh, NFTs can come in the form of pictures, art, um, literally anything you sort of think of. It, it's just an image of something that is once it's created, there can be a certain amount of them if you choose that, but they can never be replicated. They can never be duplicated. They're always registered forever on the blockchain. Um and NFTs are exploding in popularity, and they really do have the potential to give people massive return on investments, again, for people who just hold on to them and sell them later on. Um, these NFTs, I believe long-term, they're like bottles of wine. The longer you just hold on them, it will mature with age, they'll become more rare, and uh, people will want the earlier ones, okay? Um, so it's the same process. You buy in on NFTs at a low price, and you just hold on to them and you sell when they're a higher price later on. Not difficult. 
And this is such a new concept, guys. Okay, really only hit the mainstream media earlier this year, and now it's died down again. But guys, NFTs are here to stay. Because uh, the NFT space is going to expand and it's going to gain even more popularity. It's going to be socially accepted. And once that happens, their value will skyrocket. Like, think back, people didn't see Bitcoin. Oh, it's a fad. It's a bubble. It won't be around. Cryptocurrencies are here forever, Sean, guys. NFTs are here forever. Sean King says, Nike sold a virtual training shoe. That just about sums it all up. <laughs> oh, man, it's crazy. I, want, I, want to show you, I just want to show you some crazy stuff here. This, okay, is, so. this is a thing I could have made $2,000 on overnight, guys. Yeah, yeah this exactly. Um, so an example of NFT, and these were probably some of the more earlier popular ones because these are one of the first ever NFTs put on the blockchain, and these, these guys were called crypto punks. So there's only, I don't know, I, I think there's only a couple of hundred or thousand of these horrible-looking, poorly pixeled animations uh, out there. Each one is unique. Okay, but there's only a certain amount of them on the blockchain. There's literally one unique one, one unique crypto punk, and uh, they all look different. And there's only a certain amount of them on the planet. And I want to show you what these actually sell for now. Crypto punks NFT bundle goes for seventeen million dollars in Christie's auction. So Christie's is a high-end art dealership in New York, and a person who had bought in early on crypto punks, literally how many were there? Uh, nine. We're selling nine of them in a bundle and they sold for $17 million. Okay. For this. All right. They, they bought nine of these crypto punks that are unique to them on the blockchain, on their wallet address on the blockchain. They own that and they paid $17 million for it. Uh, this one was Wayne actually brought my attention to. I didn't, I didn't even know this actually happened. Uh, Jack Dorsey, who is the, uh, the creator of Twitter. I think most people have a Twitter account these days. Uh, Jack Dorsey, turned his first ever tweet that he made on his Twitter account. He created, he took a screen grab of it, turned it into an NFT, put it on the blockchain. There is only one copy of this tweet on the planet. Only one person can own this. And somebody paid $2.9 million for the first ever tweet for a picture of Jack Dorsey's first tweet that was put on the blockchain. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. But I want you to think about it, guys, because this idea of collectibles has always been around okay this isn't a new thing it's just moving from a physical form into a digital form and look at baseball cards for example now, this is obviously i don't know much about baseball now i'm sure if there's people from the united states on the call they, they'll know a lot more about baseball than me and will know more of these players i do know babe ruth the guy in the center here but baseball cards for generations particularly in american society have been there there's such a a love for the game and their love for the personalities that play the game and people will buy these cards and hold on to them like they're their children and they will protect them they'll store them in safe boxes and, and attics and and just think about it. Some of these cards were minted in 1933, 1916, 1952, and they were bought for, I don't know, pennies probably back or quarters, sorry, the currency in America, but bought for nothing. And now they have a huge amount of value because they're so rare because over time they're lost and people lose them and they just, they become even more rare and people want them. It's crazy. Like this, this, this idea of collecting things has always been around. Um, this is just an example, okay, um, of a baseball card, really old one, a guy called Honus Wagner, don't have a clue who he is, but his baseball card sold for $3.75 million, and it was the fifth most expensive baseball card ever. So people are, if they are passionate and love something and have a huge passion for something, they're, they're willing to pay the money for the most rarest of the collectibles that are out there, okay? Um, this one here. Another perfect example. Now, Wayne doesn't know anything about this because he's a lot older than me. Pokemon cards. Oh, my you God. You still collect them, don't you, Aiden? <laughs> I do. <laughs> I'm not ashamed to say it. <laughs> I wish I collected and held on to them a lot more. My mother probably dumped them. I could have I I been a millionaire. Um, but like Pokemon cards, guys, have literally been only around from 1996. I think roughly that's when they first came out. But these are something people just love the brand Pokemon. They love these little monsters that they put in their pocket. And these cards have been passed down from generation to generation. They become like nearly family heirlooms at this stage. And um, the original, original cards that were produced in 1996, there's only a certain amount of them on the planet. And they become rarer and rarer over time. And again, this is just an example here. I got this from BBC News. Um, 
a rare first edition card, Pokemon card. Now, it doesn't say which one it was. It could have been a Pikachu or, or one of them. Sold for more than $400,000 for one card, for one of these rare cards. Like this Charizard, this red one here is really, really popular. I know that much. And there's only a few of these left on the planet. Uh, people are willing to spend big money to be the owners. It's just like a flex. They're like, I own one of these. And it's they're, they're so rare. Only a certain amount of people on the planet can own them. Okay? So these traditional collectibles have always been around. This type of money exchanging now for collect physical collectibles, it's nothing new. Okay? It's been around. It's happening every day. Um, because you need to realize, though, that these traditional collectibles, those baseball cards, those Pokemon cards, they're only ink on paper. If you strip it back, that's all they are. But people give them immense personal value because they love the people. They love the characters. Uh, they have an attachment to them and they place value on them. And again, as time goes by, just things happen. Like the, the rarity of the cards or the collectible um, will become less and less. And as it gathers more age, it will gain value over time as it moves on, as you saw there with the baseball cards and the Pokemon cards selling for millions and hundreds and thousands of dollars. So that's, you need to think that concept. Collectibles will always be around, but the future of collectibles is not in the physical form. It's on the blockchain. It's in a digital format, okay? In the form of NFTs, in the form of non-fungible tokens. So guys, you need to, I really, really want you to understand this. You are so, so early when it comes to NFTs. I, we say, it, again, the boat has not left it's it's just been built. It hasn't even it's it's not even docked yet. It's just been built. You are so so early when it comes to NFTs, and potentially long term, if you invest in the right ones, you could actually get a massive ROI, a massive return on your initial investment. Now, ah, my favorite part of the presentation because I love rubbing this in to Wayne because I know Wayne is a big super. Uh, nerd when it comes to, I'm a, I'm to not super nerd. book comic book here. What <laughs> but, ma- yes you are don't mate, lie don't lie to makes, people. No, I'm just gonna switch <laughs> what makes you think I'm a nerd when it comes to I got a Marvel T shirt, I got Batman or, I'm not a nerd. I don't like Batman course, anymore course not, anyway. Of course you're not. <laughs> well my claim to fame over Wayne is I own one of the most well the original Batman NFT. It is the first time Batman has been put on the blockchain as an NFT, and I own one of these. And Wayne doesn't. <laughs> You're not wearing your Batman. It's my birthday. Today, so it's it's my birthday soon, mate. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be giving you this as a birthday present. I'm sorry. You have to buy your own. But guy, I just want you to just put this in perspective: how big Batman is, how big Batman is as a brand, and what's unique about this NFT. Okay, there's only seven thousand five hundred of them ever minted on the blockchain. So only 7,500 people can actually own these. It's a first appearance. It means it's the first time Batman has ever appeared in digital form. And more, more, more importantly, this is a licensed NFT by DC Comics. You see that down here. Okay? So I have absolutely no intention of selling this tomorrow. I know where this is heading. Digital collectibles. Physical. I saw the results of physical collectibles. It's going to be the same for digital. So the fact that this is a licensed, rare, first ever appearance of Batman, Batman on NF, on, on the blockchain, I would be a crazy person to sell this. So that's one example of an NFT that I bought and I'm going to hold for the long term. Probably pass it to my grandkids. Second one I own. Same thing. The first ever appearance in digital format on the blockchain of Superman. Again, a cult following. Batman... His popularity is, he'll be around when I'm long gone and way long and ba- Superman will still live on, okay? And he'll live on in digital form on the blockchain. And I am one of, one of 8,888 people on the planet who owns the first ever Superman who appeared on as a digital collectible on the blockchain. Again, licensed by DC that's, Comics. That's a big thing. This- that's a big thing you ought to emphasize that, um, Aiden, because um, DC Comics wouldn't, just license it if it was a fad or if it was not, you know just here today and gone tomorrow they've actually been licensed guys that takes a lot of hoops to jump through a lot of kind of paperwork and stuff years, yeah, it's crazy. years of agreements to make like like anybody could try and copy them these these collectibles in terms of like create a different version but they're going to get a lawsuit okay and dc comics will come after them dc comics have specifically given 
these people the, the the permission to actually produce this NFT and it's licensed by them. So that that's why it's it's real. It has real value long term that it's licensed. Okay, so I hope everyone can sort of make sense of that. Um, I'm going to show you one more, and this one is just I it's I love my Batman, I love my Superman, but this one as well. Uh, I'm really excited about. Uh, this is an example of an NFT I bought. It's literally a, a 2D poster of Cleopatra. She's a, an Egyptian goddess. And um, she, uh, or she was an Egyptian queen, rather. And uh, again, this was produced by a brand called Givenchy. Uh, this is a luxurious, luxurious brand like Dolce & Gabbana. And it's a really up-and-coming luxury brand that like people like uh, Kim Kardashian and Elon Musk wear their, wear their stuff and buy their pro products. So, um Again, Givinci gave uh, permission for this NFT to be licensed. You can see it down here, Givinci. And what's crazy, guys, this one, there's only 999 um, of these ever produced. Uh, now, it's sold for $50. I bought this for about $400. I checked it today. It's now worth $1,000. And I only bought this about two weeks ago. Okay. So the price of these NFTs, guys, can actually skyrocket based on the rarity and because they're licensed. It's it's huge. Um, again, just go back to Batman, uh, ba sorry, Superman. I actually bought this for fifty dollars. Says fifty gems here, fifty dollars. I checked the price today. It's actually ten x since I bought it in June. It's only last month. It's worth five hundred dollars. Uh, this Batman here, I bought for I think two hundred dollars, and now it's worth six hundred dollars. It's three x. So. In such a short space of time, guys, uh, again, NFTs, they don't seem to fluctuate as much as the crypto markets, which is good as well. That's why I like them. And you actually, they, they store value a lot better. Um, so that's just, again, the excitement you should feel, guys, because you are so, so early on this. The NFT, NFT train ship has not, I said, it's only docked, has not left. And you have such a huge opportunity now after today's workshop. Like, I'm a teacher. Like, I, 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 te I tell kids, I teach them every day. Yeah, work hard, get your grades. You can get a good job, work your nine to five. <sighs> and uh, this is such an opportunity. It's like the internet 2.0. You have such an opportunity now to make life-changing uh, money through investing wisely and not investing more than you're afford to lose and actually get a very good return on your investments, guys. Um, and this is really a chance for you once you leave this workshop is to actually create generational wealth for you and your family and, and, and again, future generations, your family. And that don't mean sound corny or whatever, but it's, it's true. I 110% Wayne believes it. I believe it. This is such a huge opportunity. Don't waste it. Now, again, there will be stumbling blocks for people, obviously, once, once they leave this call. Uh, and I just want to flag them so you're aware of them. Uh, and the biggest problem you're going to have is finding the right coins to invest in. So we talked about the buy in low, sell high strategy. Finding the right coins, doing your proper research, that is paramount for you to be successful in your investments. Again, not tuning into the mainstream media. Make sure you're doing the right research to find out the right coins to stake, the ones that are going to give you massive returns every single month for staking your crypto. And more importantly, make sure you're buying into the right NFTs, the ones that are licensed. Okay, we talked about that importance of being licensed and that they're genuinely the real deal when it comes to your Batmans, your Supermans, your Givinchis. Okay, you need to make sure that you're buying the right NFTs as well if you're looking to, to get into that space. Um, again, please, please, as a recap, never do this. Never repeat my mistakes. Do not buy when social media is telling you or your friend is telling you. Um, like a friend you have you, you haven't heard from from a long time and they're telling you to buy this coin it's a, it's a safe bet generally it's not they've bought in down here and they want you to buy it up here so when and they'll tell you to buy and when it tanks the narrative will change as we as we discussed earlier and uh, the emotional blackmail will begin and people once the price starts dropping they'll tell you to sell tell you to sell you'll panic you'll sell down here and they'll just scoop it up again and rebuy back in down here and you're at a loss and we do not want that to happen to you we want you to be doing it this way always buying in low selling high just like i did with chilies buying in down here getting half my investment selling half my coins and just holding the rest until i want to decide when i sell it same with nkn and it's the same thing wayne does and that's what he's going to be doing into the future buying in low getting his initial investment back and just riding the wave up and just holding on to the coins and selling, setting new targets and cashing out when he wants to. And we want you always to be staking the right coins, like we showed you with Cardano, with Safe Haven, getting your couple of hundred free coins per month. And always, as we mentioned, 
get in on these NFTs, guys. These licensed NFTs are going to be huge. I can really stand over that when I say it. I really do say that, that these licensed NFTs, they're, they're a game changer in my view. They're like digital gold. They're like really, I would rather put my money, take my money out of the bank and put it in Superman. Seriously. <laughs> Well, that's, that's a crazy statement to make, but I really do honestly believe that this is what people should be doing. So that's uh, I'm going to hand it back over to you, Wayne. That's, that's everything I have. Um, just gonna... Mate, that was absolutely awesome as usual. Um, so um, I'm going to ask everyone a massive, massive question. Pretty much a no-brainer, pretty much a no-brainer. Uh, with what Aiden has just, the value he's just given us, and the knowledge he's just shared, and taking that to the next level. And it is, who wants Aiden to do all the research on coins, NFTs, and the staking for you? So you can copy-paste what he and I'll be doing, because I'll be copying what Aiden does. I've already done it, and it works. This is why I can um, confidently say that I'll be doing this. Okay, and that means he'll be looking where to find the FTs. He'll be telling you what to buy. He'll be telling you what coins to buy. All you have to do is buy them. Okay, none of the all the other stuff we talked about. There's none of that to do. Let me know um, in the comments. Say um, we want Aiden, and um, <laughs> I'll send him over. <laughs> I'll put him in a box and send I'll him just over. Give my personal address. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me know in the comments, and I'll show you how you can get access to aiden exactly like this exact same way that i've got access to him okay you can have the same level as access it's pretty insane really um and i'm going to show you how you can you know everything how to buy the nfts will be covered absolutely anything in fact i'll show you what is covered because this is mind-blowing so i don't want to spend too long on this so what i'll do uh me and aiden or aiden just launched a product called Crypto Cowboys because he thought me and him looked like cowboys, even though if we yep. got on a horse, their legs would collapse because we're a bit of, both a bit overweight. But we launched, Thanks. <laughs> launched a product called Crypto Cowboys, okay? Now, in Crypto Cowboys, there's a number of parts to the funnel. This is the first part, the front end, okay? Um, stay with us, guys. You're going to see how you can watch me spend $10,000 on what you've now learned with doing the work. Okay, literally with all the direction you need. So, um, Aiden, did you just want to explain the front end? Yeah, sure thing. So the um, the main course, the Crypto Cowboys course, it's sort of divided into two parts uh, because I really wanted to create something, I suppose, that, as I said, I'm a teacher. I could give it like this to my students and they could actually, if they wanted to, uh, get started with crypto investing, okay? Now, I'm not going to give it to them because obviously they're not my target audience, but you get the idea, okay? So the first couple of videos is literally what I would do if I was to start all over again. I show people the important terminologies that they need to understand. I show them how to uh, get set up on a coin exchange, what they're going to need to get up set up quickly, how to set up their digital wallet. Um, and again, the second half then of the course is where the fun begins. So I show people my thought patterns around uh, coins, how I go about doing my research on CoinGecko, there's specific things that I look for. So I explained that all in the uh, training. Then I actually do a case study where I show people based on my research um, how I actually invest in the coin. So you actually watch me buy the coin, watch me move it onto my wallet and actually watch me set my target to sell once it doubles and get my initial investment back and then hold on to it. Uh, so again, everything I sort of covered in the workshop today, you'll actually... I watch that sort of live over the shoulder training in the course. So it's divided into two parts that way. So that's that's the that's the main training. There we go. So that's the front end, guys. Um and this gets so exciting, it's unreal. Uh, there's loads of people commenting and they, they want to get access. Guys, this is awesome. So once people buy the front end, this is a launch, it actually ends today, I think, don't I? Yeah, midnight, midnight tonight. Yeah, yeah. So it ends today, okay. Um now, the next, the O2-1, as it's called, 10x your crypto profits, make money while you while we sleep. Um, Aiden, if you explain that. Yeah, so we talked about staking today in the presentation, and obviously we, we looked at Cardano and, and coins like Safe Haven. So within 10x uh, passive profits, um, I actually show you the best staking coins out there that I actually get uh, much higher uh, yields than than the ones I showed you, on like Cardano, for example. So um, that that's just, uh, again, a, a case studies where I show you where to find these coins. I invest them. I show you how to stake them, set up the wallets, etc. So uh, you can start generating 
lots and lots of passive income every single month uh, when you are rewarded with that with that staking. So uh, yeah, that's a really, really cool OTO just to earn passive crypto every single month and lots of it. This is one I will be doing a lot of because I like hands off. I like the hands off approach to what you're going to say, especially. So what uh, then OTO2, as it's called, is this hasn't been discussed, guys. This is crazy. Okay, so pin back, back your ears and listen to what Aiden says. <laughs> Yeah, so I, I didn't include this in the presentation because, again, this is a really sort of unique OTO that I'm, again, it's so under the radar. Uh, this OTO is called Time Travel Crypto. So essentially, as I showed you in the presentation, when you stake coins, usually you have to wait a month to get a couple of free coins, okay? Um, with Time Travel Crypto, I show you a strategy of a absolutely massive crypto uh, currency project that I'm so, so excited about that they'll actually give you, once you stake their coins, they will give you not a month's worth of crypto, they'll give you a year's worth of free crypto instantly. And you can take those profits and reinvest them into other coins. Um, so it's just, it's a way of you actually getting free crypto that actually has value. It's not a, a, a cheap coin whatsoever in terms of, uh, it's not like a minuscule, it actually has value. Um, not like Bitcoin or anything, but it has value. And you can actually use that year's worth of crypto and reinvest into other things. So that's something I've been doing. I showed it to Wayne, he's, he's gonna be doing it. And it's, uh, yeah, it's a really, really exciting uh, uh, strategy. And that's what's inside the uh, time travel crypto. It's, so we're literally getting crypto from the future. It's, that's it, what we call bonkers, it. Guys. No, what I've never seen anyone else share this. When Aiden said about, it, I'm like, what a load of tosh! I've said it. I've sent an act, and I will be putting money on this, which some of you guys will see. Okay, so that is um, that O2. Then we go on to um, NFT frenzy. Oh. Yes, this is it's so exciting. This stuff, isn't it? All bundled yeah, together. Yeah, yeah. So uh, N NFT frenzy is uh, yeah. I think that's it's the most sort of in terms of NFTs, it's the most exciting project that I, I've ever sort of put together in terms of a course. Uh, ever, NFT anyone, frenzy. Anyone's put yeah, together. I, no one's put together this level of information, mate. No, no one. No, it's, it's not out there yet that I know of. So uh, pretty much, I show you where to get in on these really cheap licensed NFTs, and I show you the whole process, how it works how to participate to actually get them at a, such a low price and just hold on to them, lock them away in your vault and then wait, wait a couple of years, two years if you want, once NFTs and these licensed NFTs become more mainstream. Um, yeah, so I'll show you, reveal all of that in that OTO. So that's a really good one. Yeah. And now, now we get to the more exciting one, guys. There's two more. There's two more. Okay, I don't think I got... Um a picture of the last one no i didn't so this you can get access to this funnel okay and i'll let aiden explain i'm actually going to show what what that does so aiden yeah yeah so uh it's called our platinum crypto affiliate and uh, essentially what you're getting is access to our crypto funnel that we've put together ourselves and all the training and the, again all the uh all the exciting products uh, that people are going to literally jump at so this com this product converts this funnel converts like gangbusters like seriously uh, I just think Wayne was showing stats on Warrior Plus the other day yeah, and it literally is the best performing funnel on Warrior Plus uh, this month so we've spent thousands of dollars investing in sales and design into copy and and crypto itself is such a hot topic um, that people want to get in on that again as an affiliate you keep 100 percent of the commissions. Uh, on the funnel so you literally just send people to the sales page uh, any sales that you make you keep 100 percent of the commissions that goes into your into your wallet not ours so um yeah it's a as i said a really exciting opportunity to just again generate more income just by being an affiliate uh, and have technically your own done for you crypto funnel um uh, yeah, done for to you get, that you have access to, to give you an idea guys what you all get access to you get access to this funnel and 100 percent of the commissions that you've now seen we'll walk for it in a minute um 40% conversion. That basically means for every two and a half people that see this funnel, one will buy. Okay. It's pretty... insane. We've got an $11 um, visit of value. Okay. Every visit to this site, to the front of the, to the, this funnel is worth $11. Okay. Think of that $11. It's insane. Now, if we look, if we go to all offers on Warrior Plus, so eleven dollars sixty four and forty percent. Remember them two figures. Okay, think of this when you're sending traffic to it. Okay, ten percent, eight percent, um, eighteen percent, nine percent. Oz was forty percent, eight, twenty three, five. You know, and think what we have is Oz eleven dollars. Look, eleven dollars EPC. No other crypto offer comes anywhere 
near as close. Okay, it's no, it doesn't sh- doesn't shine okay. a light to it at all. Not many. There's not really any offers on Warrior Plus that come close to four. I've not seen another forty percent converting funnel. I would say yes, I have, but that's ours. Uh, there's a thirty-two, <laughs> but the average is about eight, I suppose. So you're getting a hundred percent of all that, guys, with any traffic you send. And in fact, there's a simple strategy. Okay, follow what we say, and then recommend people to buy it. Okay, follow what we say, post it on social media, recommend people to buy the funnel. That is a simple process that will work. And you'll get 100% of, of the commissions, the whole funnel. Okay, minus processing fees, which I think is about 4 3 4%, something like that. Yeah, something like that. Okay, we can't do anything about that. It's just Warrior Plus. Um, So you get that. Now, we're going to talk about the Utu after this I haven't got a picture of, okay, is our insider club. All right, so I'm going to let Aiden tell you. This is basically what I'm going to be doing, guys, and you're going to be doing it with me. So, Aiden, tell them a bit about the insider club. Yeah, so this, this is a huge opportunity for, for people who Massive. want to jump, jump on this opportunity. Uh, again, this is obviously Wayne can, can testify to this. Essentially, being an insider means you you just pretty much, I'm your, I'm your resource. I'll, I'll tell you. I'll do the research for you. I'll tell you what coins I'm buying into, like my Chili's, my NKN I showed you, and the ones I got for Wayne. Uh, you're going to get the insider track, essentially. I'm going to show you the best coins to stake. I'm going to show you the best NFTs to look out for and why you should be buying them. So essentially it is, I every single week, every second week, I, I, I jump in and I, 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 you pretty much get it from the horse's mouth. Um, so you have that knowledge. You, you spend save a lot of time doing your own research and... Uh, it's just uh, it's a much simpler process as as Wayne uh, found out. So, so uh, basically, Aiden will be your. I was going to say something begin with B. Your your <laughs> your coach. All you've got to do, all I'm going to do, okay. All I'm going to do, if Aiden says put money on this coin, I'm going to do it. Okay, Aiden's going to do all the research. If Aiden says buy this NFT, I'm going to do it. Think how easy. I that could be is. your lucky leprechaun if you want to get stereotypical about it. Yes, the lucky <laughs> leprechaun. <laughs> Um, <laughs> that type of coaching, guys, is normally in the thousands. In fact, I don't know anyone else doing that. Okay, literally, you can put your trust in Aiden, and he will tell you exactly what to do. Okay, so if you're busy, you got full time job, you're like me with a business and don't have spare time, you don't want to be day trading where you have to just sit and look at the screen all day. Um, you just go to Aiden, say, "Hey, what should I do?" Or well, actually, we've got a Facebook group where he'll post these things. You go off and you buy it, and I'm going to show you how confident. I am with that as well, guys. Okay. So who wants to get hold of this, guys? Who wants to get hold of Aiden telling them exactly what to do? Like new work involved on your part or my part, which I like, which is good. <laughs> Let me know in the comments, guys, because this is a massive opportunity and I'm going to show you how to get hold of it. Let's see how many people say yes. In fact, I'll just move on because I didn't realize we've been on and a half. So, guys, this is how much it's going for at the minute, okay? The front end is $13. Again, this is how much you make every time you make a sale inside this funnel throughout the whole funnel. Um, the stake end is $17. The front end, I think it's still $7.95, I think, Wayne. The front end still, so oh, is it? we're still on launch. Okay, so there's yeah. $5 different. Um, the time travel is $27. Uh, the 100% commission is $97. The N- uh, NFT frenzy is $47. The group coaching, it's not really a coaching, it's, you know, Aiden is your, I don't even know what to call it, your researcher, <laughs> your the person that will just tell you what to do and you simply do it, okay? It's as close to done for you as you're ever going to get. Right? You still have to buy the coin. Um, I'd advise you to do some research. Personally, I'm not going to because uh, I haven't got time. Okay, And I'm going to show you how much confidence I've got in that. When people buy this at the minute, guys, and when you make a sale of the whole funnel, it's $698. So when you get 100% commissions, you'll get $698 minus um, the processing fees. You'll get about $660, $670, I guess. Okay, now for you guys, and only you guys, are, uh, on this live, this is the final live, um, you're going to watch me starting tomorrow at 8 p.m. spend $10,000. Okay, for people that get in on this offer that we're now going to present to you. $10,000 starting tomorrow at 8 p.m. I don't know if I'll spend the whole 10000 tomorrow. I might actually spend <laughs> more because that, like, that's how confident I am in Aiden because we've already done this. Okay, we, He proved it to me before we even put this together. He proved it. Um, 
And I want to put my money money where Aiden's mouth is. <laughs> <laughs> I can't understand what he says most of the time, but we just got to make sure yeah. it's written down when you suggest it, people, so people know. <laughs> um, I don't think we need a subtitle. So starting tomorrow at 8 p.m., guys, you will be watching me do this. You'll be watching me start the same stage as you. All right? I will be literally showing you what to do, so will Aiden, okay? So if you're brand new to this, don't worry. Um, we'll be going for a fairly slow speed because some of this stuff I haven't done yet. All right, but after the results I had with Aiden's suggestions, um, I'm confident, and that's what I'll be doing. I'll be putting ten thousand um, dollars across a few weeks, or maybe even tomorrow, even more um, of my own money down. All right, so it's live. Um, this is a um, Aiden put together. I said, "Can you give me a list of top twenty coins that I can get right now?" um he said yep yeah. he spent time putting this together i said how much would you charge me he said 497 500 at least because you know that's what they're worth so you get that as a bonus guys i put in a price that is worth 197 it's worth a lot more than that you can go and do these now you get a list of the top staking coins and you all know what um staking coins are already okay again it's worth it's you can't really put a price on it, but we put a price of 197 on it. And you get an entire list of lo low cost, high quality NFTs to hold and flip for profits. Okay. So we're literally taking all the guesswork out for you, with you guys forever. All right. Aiden will be going live inside the group. It does not stop because I will be using Aiden as much as I can. So I'll make sure he doesn't stop. Um, this is an evergreen product. Okay. It will, it will get support. I can't say if I'll give support support in ten years because you know, Aiden might have an accident on his crypto cowboy horse. <laughs> you don't know what's going to happen. But, the balls. Yeah. Um. So these bonuses aren't for everyone, guys. Only you guys on this live get these. All right. The total that every if these were in the funnel would be twelve hundred and eighty nine dollars. Okay. Now, the launch only price, this is for you guys on the live right now. You get all of this for 497 How awesome of a price is that that Aiden's let me do this for? I know how much time this takes Aiden to do, to do all this research, to show you everything. And I think that's an absolutely stupid price. Let me know what you think of the 497 guys. I think it's crazy. Um, you know, and if you don't believe that they are the actual prices... I'll give you a link to the. In fact, I'll show you through the funnel now, and you can see this is what people are paying. But because you jumped on this live, and it's the last one we're doing, um, you can get it for four nine seven. Let me know if you think that's an awesome price. I'm going to show you how to actually get it even cheaper. <laughs> uh, and I had to. We weren't going to do this, but that's a strong army. Yeah. Um, we weren't going to do this because what Aiden put together is fantastic um and the thing is on the last live everything messed up no one could pay okay 